body movements cartilage and muscles we have learned a bit about bones and joints we know that joints in the bones help us move but how what makes our bones and joints move the way they do make a fist with one hand bend your arm at the elbow do you see any change in the shape of your upper arm do you see a bulge form in the upper arm when you flex that bulge is because of a muscle the muscle bulges because it contracts contracts means it gets squeezed so it pops up like that when muscles contract they become shorter stiffer and thicker muscles can also relax and become longer when you flex like this it's because this muscle contracts and squeezes at the same time this muscle relaxes and becomes longer the muscles contract and relax in pairs so that we can move muscles have to do this to pull the bones at the joints so as you can see to make the joints move muscles have to work in pairs when one contracts the other relaxes and vice versa when one muscle contracts the bone is pulled in that direction the other muscle of that pair relaxes how does movement in the opposite direction happen the relaxed muscle contracts to pull the bone back to the original position we see the same kind of movement in the leg muscles there is a pair of muscles there too hamstrings contract when we want to bend the knee quadriceps contract when we want to straighten the knee important muscle fact a muscle can only pull the bone it cannot push the bone that is why we need a muscle pair the other muscle then pulls the bone in the opposite direction to reverse the movement what did we just learn joints help us move but they cannot move on their own muscles that are attached to bones around the joints make the joints move muscles can only pull on a bone they cannot push to make a joint move both ways muscles need to work in pairs muscles can pull on a bone by contracting themselves to make a joint move in reverse the other muscle of the pair contracts and pulls in the opposite direction there are some parts of the body which are hard but not as hard as the bones can you think of some parts of your body that are like this feel your ear there does not seem to be any bone in here but it is still a bit hard we can feel a difference between the ear lobe and the portion above it the upper part of the ear is not as soft as the ear lobe but not as hard as a bone such body parts are called cartilage where else is there cartilage 
just like your ears there is cartilage in your nose too grab your nose and try to move it around you can move it a bit but it snaps back to its original position this is because of the elasticity in the cartilage the cartilage is also present in the windpipe or trachea all the things in blue here are cartilage cartilage is present in the vertebral column and pubic bone too cartilage is also found in the covering of bones in movable joints what actually is this cartilage it is a soft elastic and flexible tissue that covers the bones near the joints it connects the bones together as the cartilage is elastic and flexible it helps in easy movement of joints cartilage reduces friction caused by bones rubbing together all moving joints have cartilage joints can move properly because they have cartilage what about damaged cartilage the cartilage is a part of the body and as we grow older it becomes weaker and weaker it may even tear if the cartilage is damaged or weak the joint does not work properly what can we do in such a case we have to replace the whole joint surgeons cannot replace just the cartilage so they take out the whole joint and put in an artificial one you must have known people who have had their knee joint or hip joint changed like this this is a pretty complex operation done by joint replacement surgeons it's an amazing advance in technology people who had trouble walking can walk easily when the joint is replaced another common injury is that to the cartilage of the knee called meniscus if you play sports that need a lot of jumping or running like football or volleyball this can happen if the tear is small it can get better with rest medicines and exercises if the tear is large you may need surgery to fix it or it may not get fixed at all what did we just learn cartilage is a soft elastic and flexible tissue that covers the bones at the joints cartilage reduces friction between bones and lets the joint move smoothly when the cartilage is damaged the bones start to rub against each other and joint movement becomes difficult in this case the entire joint is sometimes replaced cartilage is also present in the ear and nose cartilage is also present in the vertebral column and trachea ask a doctor and find out you know that the muscle is what pulls on the bones at the joint to make them move so the muscle is attached to the bones when surgeons replace the joint in the hip or the knee do they have to detach the muscles and then attach them again to make the joint move properly again